Lapidus Pour On by Ted Lapidus is reputedly one of the most powerful men's fragrances ever created. But how strong could it really be? I decided to find out. Welcome back to the show. It is a pretty simple concept today. We're going to look at Drakkar Intense, give you my verdict on it, having had it for a couple of weeks, and I'll compare it a little bit to uh, Drakkar Noir, the original fragrance, both of these, of course, from Guy La Roche. Before we do that, please do not forget, follow the link in the description to go to myfragrancesamples.com, where my code Mr. 15 gets you 15% off across the site. If you're in the USA, Puerto Rico, or Canada, that is my recommended place to go and get your fragrance samples. Go there. I recommend these guys. Mark, who runs it? A top guy. Okay, guys, so it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's Drakkar Intense and Drakkar Noir. So most of you are going to be here to find out about Drakkar Intense. But of course, I thought it'd be fun to compare a little bit to the original Drakkar Noir. Okay, so Drakkar Intense, it's created a stir in the fragrance community because it is a flanker to Drakkar Noir. This is a 2022 release. Your note listing for this one, you've got Wormwood, Bergamot, Rosemary, Coriander, Lavender, Juniper Berries, Clary Sage, Patchouli, Suede, Lavender, and Moss... Some people are saying, oh no, it's not a flanker to Drakkar Noir, because originally there was a fragrance years and years ago called Drakkar, just Drakkar, and then Drakkar Noir was actually kind of a flanker to that. But that's so far back in the midst of time, that fragrance is long discontinued. No one's going to release a flanker to a discontinued fragrance. It's kind of obvious. So let's face it, effectively, this is the flanker to Drakkar Noir. They probably just thought, well, maybe Drakkar Noir has a slightly too stuffy image. So we'll just call it Drakkar Intense and leave out the noir part. Or just, you know, maybe Drakkar Noir Intense is too many words. Whatever. It's definitely a flanker, in my opinion, to uh, Drakkar Noir. Okay. The fragrance then. I've heard a few different thoughts on this one. Some people underwhelmed. Some people really liking it. Uh, let's give you my view. So I've had a week with this one. It, it's a really nice fragrance. It's a really, really pleasant fragrance. It has a lot of this... Uh, ambery undertone in it okay so it's, it's more modern smelling than the original Drakkar Noir by the way price wise you can pick this up I got mine for 25 pounds on eBay couldn't quite find it today on eBay in the UK but yeah around about the 25 pounds mark in the UK I'm assuming similar kind of 30 35 dollars probably in the USA not entirely sure so opening up on this one there is a freshness but straight away much more of a warming kind of patchouli suede ambery undertone to this one some people saying there's a bit of vanilla in there and certainly there is a sweetness some people are picking up on booziness even I've seen some people compare it to stronger with you absolutely or intensely by Armani I wouldn't go that far. It is a fuser, it's a fougere or maybe an amber fougere. Okay, the original Drakkar Noir, much more green and piney. I won't give you the full listing. That's a 1982 release. So it's a full 40 years older. This was Pierre Vosgny, the perfume. Again, you can pick this up for really cheap prices, you know, well under 20 pounds for your 50 mil and probably even 100 mil or 200 mil. This is a very classic textbook fougere fragrance. Green, fresh, bergamot, lavender, tonka bean, Kind of piney notes very very pleasant there are slightly better versions of it or things similar like cubigant's duke de verons l'extreme or if you really want to go for it bon monsieur by rogue perfumery with the real oak moss in there that they can't really use so much now or, or not much of it yeah, and of course oak moss the, the oak moss accord is in here to a certain extent very very pleasant very nice cheapy a little bit old-fashioned smelling but no reason why a young guy can't still wear it it's, it's not weird smelling to me not a hairy chest uncool smell i don't think but it's not going to be to everyone's taste. This new one then, Drakkar Intense. Uh, oh, by the way, this one, a decent performance for me. Not not amazing, but just average and okay. I, I'm happy with the performance on that one, but it, it's not the strongest. Drakkar Intense, similar kind of story. Sits reasonably close to the skin from what I can sort of tell. And the longevity actually, uh, longevity is actually really, really good on the fragrance. Uh, it, the colour kind of tells you something. So it has, it definitely has a little bit of the Drakkar Noir DNA. There is something of that sort of classic fougere, lavender, 
almost a, just a, a tiny hint of the pininess or at least that green herbal feel with the rosemary and the wormwood you do that artemisia you do get something and clary sage is in there too so a little bit of an old school vibe people if you enjoy the video and you like what i bring to the community which is different like it or hate it please subscribe to my channel it really helps me and it means that you won't miss my next video with a warming and ambery undertone, a little bit more seductive, a hint of sweetness, but not so much. It's, you know, it's not like a clubbing scent or a uh, you know a Lamal Ultra or one million. It has the classic old school vibe. So for me, if you are a big fan of Dracar Noir and you kind of just like the idea of having a new version, something for us old school fragrance fans to get excited about in a new release for a change, I think it's a really charming addition, a charming cousin to it. This could be a great daytime fragrance. This one, a little bit more rich and warming so nice for the night time is it amazing is it blowing my mind is it my favorite fragrance ever no if i don't like giving marks out of 10 normally but i guess i'd go somewhere around eight out of ten which is a very good mark especially when you consider the price is really nice so if you like your old school fragrances looking for a fun cheap blind buy dracar intense is really really nice um if you have some kind of affection for things like la nuit de l'homme or some of these slightly sweet warming fragrances but you you really like your old school stuff and you like your fuges, he grabs a little bit of that more sweet, seductive thing and just adds it to the original Dracar. And it's very, very pleasant. It's not mind blowing, it's not amazing, but it is really good. And you know, I'm very often underwhelmed by new releases. Well, I really like this one, I've got to be honest. Eight out of 10, like it. Not a major, major love, but I think anyone blind buying this probably won't be massively disappointed. Eau de Parfum, by the way, compared to Eau de Toilette, whatever, the, whether the actual difference of the concentration is different, I don't know. Recommended by me, yes, but not sort of a must-have, only if you really have this itch to get another type of Dracar Noir in your collection. Dracar Intense, good, but not amazing, but good. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. I will see you in the next video. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project, and sometimes life may stink, but we can always smell good. People, don't forget, I do have a Patreon group. Follow the link in the description to sign up for about $2 a month. You get an extra video from me every week. It's amazing. Please join up.